Hey friends, it is Jenna What Is Up and welcome back to the Board Game Garden. Today I'm going to be doing another Kickstarter preview for one of the three games in front of me. If you've already seen the other two, then, you know, process of elimination, I'm going to be doing the third one. Um, but all three of these games are coming at you from 25th Century Games and they're all going to be in the same Kickstarter campaign and I will have that linked down below if you guys want to go and check it out. I will also have the other two preview videos for the other two games that we're not previewing today um, linked down below as well but today I'm going to be focusing on this one right here to my right to your left and that is Agueda City of Umbrellas so this is obviously published by 25th Century Games and it's designed by Dustin Dobson as well as Milan Zivkoviak and I'm going to be showing you guys how it plays it plays in 20 to 40 minutes it's one to five players and it is ages 10 and up. So if you guys wanna see how it plays, all of the different components, then just keep on watching and let's get into this video, shall we? Every summer, the streets of Agueda come alive with colorful umbrellas and street art. As an artist, you will need to balance the requests of the city, shops, and tourists to create the most stunning arrangement of umbrellas for your street. Players will draft umbrella tiles from a central board, placing them into a row on their own street board. And after placing umbrellas, the players will select one or two tourists and move them into one of the three rows of umbrellas to score that row. Careful placement of umbrellas will unlock sections of their tourist map, which will add more tourists into their pool to place out on their board. And once a player has filled up their board, scoring for the arrangement of umbrellas will be based on both the standard board scoring placement rules plus communal shop cards with varying scoring objectives. Now that you have a little brief overview of how the game plays, let's get into the setup and all of the components in the box. I should quickly also mention that this game can be played solo and in the solo variant, you will be playing against the tour guide. Now to start with the setup of the game, place the market board so it's accessible to all players, then place all of the coins in the designated space on the market board to create the bank. Shuffle all of the different shop cards and randomly draw two shop cards and place them face up in the designated spaces on the market board and return all unused shop cards back to the box. A great thing about this is that there are so many different shop cards so the replayability of Agueda is fantastic. Randomly draw and place one wooden shop marker face up on each of the question mark spots on each of the shop cards, then place all remaining wooden shop markers face up on the Agueda's souvenir space on the market board. And lastly, add all of the umbrella tokens to the draw bag and mix them up. Fill up the token area on the market board by randomly drawing umbrellas from the bag and placing them on the board. Note that I did do this a little bit wrong in the b-roll, but you are supposed to add them from the top going down to the bottom, moving from left to right. And that's everything for the market board setup. Let's get into the player setup. Starting off with each player choosing a player color and taking the matching player board, scoring marker, mural tiles, tourist meeples, and tourist tiles. They place the mural tiles umbrella side up on their cafe board in a two by three grid forming the murals art image. Players will then place their tourist tiles on the designated tourist spaces on their player board in any order. Place three of their tourist meeples on the suitcase spots across the top of their player board taking the remaining three tourist meeples and placing one of them next to each row of their mural. Next up, they will place their scoring marker on the starting spot on the market board and take two coins from the bank. And lastly, randomly select one player to be the starting player. And that's everything for the setup. Let's get into this how to play. Starting with the first player and continuing clockwise, each player's take a turn by completing these steps in this order. First up is picking umbrellas. Choose one diagonal line from the market and take all of the umbrellas from that. So if a player chooses to take one single umbrella in a diagonal, they will gain one coin. If they decide to take two umbrellas from a diagonal, nothing happens. But if they do choose to take all three from a diagonal, they must pay one coin to the bank. Next up, that player must place the umbrellas that they just drafted, choosing one row on their player board where it will be placed and all of the umbrellas must be placed in that row. Starting with the leftmost empty space, placing the umbrellas one by one from left to right in any order of their choice and you may not skip any spaces. Next up, the player must update their murals by checking to see if they covered up any of the paint splatter and paintbrush spaces. If you did cover up one this round, 
flip over the tile that is matching the umbrella that covered up that space, but note that later in the game, if you ever cover up another paint splatter space with the same color umbrella as you did before, nothing happens. And lastly, if a player ever flips over two mural tiles in the same row, they unlock that tourist meeple in that row, and they can move that tourist meeple to a suitcase spot on the top of their player board, and that tourist meeple then can be used for attracting tourists. Attracting tourists is the last thing that a player can do on their turn, and they are going to be choosing one of three different options. First being placing one tourist onto one of the tourist tiles and scoring one of the two different colored umbrellas in that specific row and gaining the points for that color. A player may also decide to place two tourist meeples onto one tourist tile and score both of the colored umbrellas in that row. And lastly, if a player has no more tourist meeples to place or have no other places to place tourist meeples, they may take a break. This allows them to take all of their tourist meeples back and place them back on the suitcase spots on their player board. Then they can shift their tourist tiles on their player board down one space and move the bottom tourist tile up to the top row. Note, a player may choose the take a break option to shift their tourist tiles even if they do not have any tourists placed. And finally, before the next player's turn, the player will refill the market. And that is everything. The end of the game is triggered when any player fills all three rows of their player board, and after that, every other player gets one last turn before final scoring. Scoring consists of mural scoring, as well as shop scoring, and any empty spot penalties. So first up, players will gain points based off of how many flipped mural tiles they have. Shop scoring is based off of the shop cards that you have on the market board. And lastly, any empty spaces players have on their player board is one negative point. The player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. And that is everything for the overview of Agueda City of Umbrellas. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching. So that is going to be everything for today's overview and preview of Agueda City of Umbrellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you've yet to do so. We'd love to have you here in the garden. Um, I will also have the Kickstarter linked down below if you guys wanna go check out any of these three games. Um, let me know down in the comments which one of these three appeal to you the most. Um, I think for me, it's probably a Guida. One, because there is a solo mode, and two, because it is beautiful. Um, but yes, let me know which one appeals to you most down below. I love you guys so, so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile, and I will see you in the next board game video. Bye, friends.